Hello everybody, my name's Amul Khalar and I'm going to be talking about my model on the four spheres. Earth is a complex system of interacting living organisms and non-living materials. Scientists have divided the Earth systems into four spheres. The geosphere, the hydrosphere, the biosphere and finally the atmosphere. Let's get started with the geosphere. The geosphere, also called the lithosphere, includes all the Earth's rock, soil and sand in all its forms from mountains to its rocky stream beds, mud flats, sandy beaches and lava flows. It even includes the very ground that is made up of tectonic plates. Geosphere consists of many layers, the inner core, the outer core, the mantle and finally the lithosphere. Let's move on to the next sphere, the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere includes of the earth's water. Most of the water is salt water in oceans. Fresh water is found in underground aquifers, on the surface of lakes, rivers and frozen in glaciers. Here in my model, I have taken three water bodies as a part of hydrosphere. The waterfall, the river and finally the ocean. In the ocean, there are many coral reefs and corals and also it has aquatic animals. But all these are a part of the biosphere since they are a living organisms. Now, talking about living organisms, let's move on to biosphere. Biosphere includes all the living things on earth, from plants and animals and humans to fungi and microscopic plankton. Life on earth lives close to the surface, where it can access oxygen or carbon dioxide, sunlight, water, minerals and organic matter. Life on land may stretch to 10 feet underground which consists of roots, invertebrates and microorganisms and hundreds of feet into the air which consists of redwoods, rainforests and living things. Let's move on to the last and final sphere, the atmosphere. The atmosphere surrounds the earth in gaseous layers held in place by the earth's gravity. It is made of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and argon. The atmosphere blankets the earth in many different layers. Here you can see a plane which is in the second layer of the atmosphere also known as the stratosphere. Now let's talk on the interconnectedness between all four spheres. For example, let's take birds. Birds are a part of the biosphere. The biosphere, birds fly in the atmosphere, in the air. Another example can be that Earth's water is sometimes flowing in the geosphere. That's how hydrosphere and geosphere are connected. One last and main process of how hydrosphere is connected to atmosphere, biosphere and geosphere is the water cycle. The water cycle takes many different processes which include the atmosphere, biosphere and geosphere. Thank you everyone. Hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you again.